guys. Brian, Land of Hot Tub Center, Tub Talk 101. And today we're going to talk about how much a hot tub weighs full of water. I've had this question a lot on the channel. Mostly, most of these people are putting their hot tub on a deck. But, you know, ultimately, let's go over this, right? Because I'm getting this question a lot. And uh, I think this video is really going to help. So, here we go. Uh, we're going to take a 1,000-pound hot tub. We're going to say that the 1,000-pound hot tub holds 500 gallons of water, okay? 8.37 pounds okay, per gallon of water, because that's how much a gallon of water weighs. Now, we're going to round that down to 8 pounds, because I don't, quite frankly, I don't think it really matters. And for math purposes, it just makes it easier. So, recap, 1,000-pound hot tub, 500 gallons of water, 8 pounds a gallon, right? So, you basically take the 500 gallons of water, you multiply that 500 gallons by 8, you get Thousand, then you add the thousand pounds for the hot tub, and you have five thousand pounds. Right? It's heavy. There's no doubt that that's heavy. However, it's not in one square foot. Right? If you had five thousand pounds in one square foot, we have a we we have a structural nightmare. Right? But being that it's spread out, that weight is spread out over a span. Right? Is not as heavy as you may think. So let's take seven foot five by seven foot five, and let's take 5,000 pounds. And if we do the math, you're gonna come up to roughly, okay, about 125 pounds per square foot. Okay, 125 pounds per square foot. Now, that doesn't mean you take it lightly. You still need to reinforce your deck. You don't want your deck to cope, right? You don't want it to warp. You know, that could be costly. You know, especially repairs once that happens. And I've seen that before. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to take any shortcuts, right? You want to make sure that the band, right? You got a band around your deck, right? That's the outside frame of the deck. You got your band goes outside and the band goes out the front. You want to make sure that back band, right? You want to make sure that that is lag bolted to the house, redheaded to the house. It is bolted to the foundation so it doesn't pull away from the house. Now, this is code. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's national code. However, just because it's national code doesn't mean that your contractor or your builder followed the code. Okay? But above all else, don't take my word for it, right? What you need to do is you need to call a structural engineer. And he needs to come out and he needs, he needs to sign off on it. We have someone here in Atlanta when somebody's putting a hot tub on a deck. Um, they call him and he will come out. So not only can he do the supporting and the bolting and so forth, if that needs to be done, he can tell you whether or not it's going to need that support. So it's very important to call a structural engineer, right? Because that's peace of mind. You don't want this thing. You don't want your deck pulling off your house. You don't need the costly repairs. None of that, right? So that really puts that to bed. Okay. Now, uh, concrete guys, uh, for years, you know, if the concrete's poured right, you've got a good four inch thick concrete slab, and we're talking hot tub, not swim spa. Swim spa is a different animal. So if we're talking hot tub, you know, up to 10 feet, four inch concrete slab, guys, uh, you're going to be in, be in good shape. Um, I haven't seen any issues there, but again, you want to get this done by a professional, somebody who knows what they're doing, because you don't want to deal with it if they don't pour it right, and you get a crack in the concrete, and structural issues. So you just want to make sure that you spend the time to do it and do it right. You know, um, there is something to be said for peace of mind, right? You pay a structural engineer to 300 bucks to go out there and sign off on this. Guys, that's worth its weight in gold. That's just, that's peace of mind that you're not going to have any issues. So uh, anyway, this is Brian, Atlanta Hot Tub Center, Tub Talk 101, and how much a hot tub weighs full of water. Thank you.